Did you know SafeRacks is the premier provider of top quality overhead garage storage? Hi, my name is Tyler, and I'm here to show you just how easy it is to install SafeRacks in your garage. Today, I'll be demonstrating how to install our best-selling 4x8 SafeRack. SafeRacks are made with industrial grade steel and are designed to hold up to 600 pounds, keeping your belongings safe and secure overhead while keeping your vehicle safe from harm underneath. Before you start the installation process, be sure to watch this entire installation video and read through the printed instruction booklet that came with your safe rack. Also, if you have a concrete ceiling, go to our website at www.saferacks.com and watch the video, How to Install Safe Racks into Concrete Ceilings. Now it's time to get my stuff out of the way. To get started, you'll need the following tools on hand. An electric drill with 3 16 drill bit, socket drive for the end of your electric drill, a socket wrench or open-ended wrenches, a rubber mallet, flathead screwdriver, tape measure and stud finder, a pencil for marking where your garage joists are, and a sturdy ladder and safety glasses. Most SafeRacks configurations come in two boxes. In the big box are two to four wire decking units, depending on the size of the shelving, two side beams, a center support, a hardware bag, and a printed instruction booklet. In the long box are eight vertical posts, two C-channel beams, and four ceiling brackets. Safe racks are held up by ceiling brackets, one at each corner. The brackets are attached to the joists in your garage ceiling. Each one of these vertical posts attaches to one ceiling bracket. These horizontal beams support the surface of your safe rack. They attach to four vertical posts in each corner. With proper insulation, you'll have easy access to the full surface area of your safe rack storage rack. Finding the best location to install your safe rack is important. Be sure to take into consideration how far you want the rack to come down from the ceiling and any objects that might come into contact with the safe rack, such as garage doors, overhead lights, sprinklers, automobiles, or people walking through your garage. Once you've identified a good spot for your racks, you'll need to locate the ceiling joists in that area. Ceiling joists run from the front of the garage to the back or from side to side. Use a stud finder to help you determine the direction of the ceiling joists, as well as the spacing between each one. For each ceiling bracket, you'll be using two lag screws. Starting in one corner, mark the spots in the joist where you'll be attaching the first ceiling bracket. Drill a 3 16 inch pilot hole in each marked spot on the joist. Make sure you're hitting solid wood when drilling the pilot holes. And remember, the pilot holes need to be at least three inches deep. Take the lag screws along with a washer and install them into the pilot holes through the ceiling bracket and into the joist. Make sure each lag screw has at least two inches of penetration or bite depth into each ceiling joist. Be careful not to strip out the wood by over tightening. And there's your first ceiling bracket. For details on installing the remaining three brackets, reference your installation manual. Now that we have our ceiling brackets installed, it's time to assemble the vertical posts. Before assembling the vertical posts, decide how far you want the rack to hang down from the ceiling and adjust each vertical post to your desired length. Next, place the lower section of the vertical post on the inside of the two post pieces. Make sure the teardrop holes are facing the same direction with the skinny part down. Use two nuts and bolts with washers to secure the posts together. I recommend putting one nut and bolt assembly on each face of the vertical post, with one at the top and the other at the bottom. Repeat these steps to assemble the other three vertical posts. To attach each vertical post to a ceiling bracket, you'll use a hex bolt, a washer on each side, and a lock nut. 
You can attach each bolt and nut by hand at first. Later on in the process, we'll tighten them down with wrenches. Make sure the teardrop holes face the same direction with the skinny part down. Reference your installation instructions and repeat this process for the remaining three posts. Once all the vertical posts are in place, attach the outside frame of the rack. It's best to start with the short sides, then work your way up to the longer sides. On the short sides, the small lip should be on the top so the rivets fit into the teardrop holes. Take the rubber mallet and hammer each side into place so that the rivets are seated into the very bottom of the teardrop holes. When adding the long beams to the vertical posts, line up the 45 degree angle on the small lip to the short beam's 45 degree angle. Be careful when hammering in the long beams, the opposite end may become unseated when doing so, but having a helper hold the opposite side helps a lot. If the rivets aren't seating correctly when hammering the beams into place, check to see if your vertical posts are completely vertical or if they're at a slant. If necessary, adjust the position of the vertical posts on the ceiling bracket before continuing. To install the center support, take the four remaining slotted head bolts and the four wing nuts and connect the center support with the flat lip on top. You can attach all the screws and wing nuts by hand first, then tighten them down with the flathead screwdriver. Once your center support is installed, go back and tighten the vertical post to the ceiling brackets with a socket wrench or open-ended wrench. Depending on which size safe rack shelving you're working with, there will be two, three, or four pieces of wire decking. Take each piece of decking and set it on top of the frame. Make sure the decking is sitting flush. You don't want it to overlap. In fact, there will be a little space between each piece. Take a moment to double check all the bolts to ensure that everything is tightened down and nothing is loose. You're now ready to organize your garage using safe rack shelving for additional storage. When loading your safe rack, be sure to pay close attention to all notes, cautions, and warnings. Having a spotter when loading your items is also helpful. Place your heaviest items closest to the vertical posts and the lighter objects in the center. Load items evenly and avoid stacking items that are not adequately supported. Be careful not to exceed the maximum capacity of your rack. For instance, this 4x8 rack has a 600 pound weight capacity. Be sure to plan accordingly. Safe racks are designed to last a lifetime when properly installed, which is why we strongly recommend that you watch this video in full and read through our printed instructions before starting your installation. If you have any questions or concerns about the Safe Racks installation process, call us at 877-655-3443. It's your garage, so use it to the max. Take it back with Safe Racks.